Now, I want to go to your calls, and I want to talk to people. Uh, we really haven't covered what's going on in California yet that much in detail. And this is very important because it's something that's not just going to affect people in California. This push to mandate vaccines was something that we saw happening all across the country. You want to talk about something that is suspicious. You've got a very small, minor outbreak of measles. And they use this, just like they use a shooting, to try to further their agenda, to create a crisis, to try to further this nationally. So we had bills that popped up all over the country all at once to take away our informed consent. Now, they don't call it that. They say they're going to remove your personal belief exemption because they play semantic games with the language in order to win. So they take the high ground with what they call it. You don't call it informing people. You say, oh, you're not informed. You just have a personal belief. The experts, they're informed. You need to do what the experts say. You're not capable of doing the research yourself. You're not capable of making a decision. So we don't need to inform you. And then of course, it's not consent because everything is mandated. Okay. So we are just slaves who do what we are told and they might give us an exemption from those mandates. Or maybe not. So they take informed consent and they turn it to that. And, and as I pointed out, you know, informed consent has a lot of different uh, sides to it. It's one aspect, if they take away your informed consent, one aspect is they can force you to take medications. They can force you to drink fluoride in your water, not telling you, not controlling the dosage because they're just ma massively dumping it into the water. And we know why they're doing it. They started doing it to get rid of the waste of the aluminum and then the nuclear uh, industries. Uh, they had a toxic substance that they were going to have to pay a lot of money to safely dispose of, or they could create this fiction that fluoride is going to somehow help you uh, with your health and then sell it instead of having to pay to dispose of it. They could sell it to different municipalities and make a profit at the same time they force you to take it. And now that house of cards is starting to come down because we've had study after study showing the effects, as we just mentioned in the last hour, showing the effects on IQ, Harvard studies showing the effects of IQ in uh, China, as well as British studies showing the effects of uh, fluoride in the water versus areas that did not have uh, fluoridation, showing that there was a massive increase in ADHD because it affects the brain, just as uh, Ben Fuchs was telling us in the last hour. And now the study that's come out says, well, you know, we really can't tell that it does anything to help your tooth health. You think? I mean, if it's going to help your tooth health, you would think that maybe you would apply it to your teeth. And if it was a medication, even if it was safe and effective, you need to control the dosage of any medication. But we are just their slaves. We're just their subjects. And nothing makes that more clear than this situation in California. Ramming down uh, uh, State Bill 277. As I pointed out, it's, it's been shut down across the country and other places, but California, of course, they get it through there. Now, here's how it's going to affect all of us, because there are people in California who are not going to bow down and do this. They're going to challenge this. They're going to challenge it in court. It's going to wind its way through the courts. I fully expect, with the kind of courts that they have in California and with the Ninth District Court out there in California being uh, pretty much adamantly opposed to any individual freedom or choice, they're going to ram down a status decision it will wind its way to the Supreme Court, and who knows how they will do, how they will decide, because they don't seem to rely on the law too much anymore. I have to say, when they say that they are going to force you to take vaccinations, of course they have different ways that they they play with this to say, well, we're not really forcing you. You don't have to uh, you don't have to get your kids vaccinated. Uh, you just won't be able to put them in a school, public or private. They even included homeschooling there for a while, but they figured, well, the homeschooler is going to fight us too hard on that. So for the moment, we'll give them an exemption. We'll come after the homeschoolers later. A lot of the homeschoolers saw through that. They were uh, very active in terms of fighting it. But of course, they don't really care. And then what we see here in Texas, this is an article that we had from Don Salazar yesterday. Texas clinics are turning away unvaccinated children. And of course, this is one of the largest healthcare groups in the area here. They have a... Uh, half million people uh, that they service, and they're saying that they're not going to uh, see your child uh, if you don't want to get your vaccinations. So you still have a choice. You don't have to get it, but they just won't provide any health care to you. What do you think is going to happen when the government controls our health care 
when the government is telling us what to do and providing our health care. You think they're going to do what the pharmaceuticals tell them? Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash afterwards. And the cool thing about this is it's not just a bunch of energy compounds that are gonna fire your brain up to a higher RPM or whatever, which it does do. This is sustainable. This isn't going to spike and you're gonna collapse and you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. And that's the principle of InfoWars Life, as far as I understand, that you've always had, is that it's not about synthetic chemicals and forcing actions. It's about letting your body do its own thing and giving your body the tools it needs to create these different compounds that are super valuable and super beneficial. We've all been dumbed down, whether we know it or not. There's always hidden additives in your food. Even organic food has hidden additives. I mean, we're looking at the television screen, at least, you know, for research purposes, whatever we've been doing, trying to learn something or staring at the computer all day, working, doing good, you're still damaging your brain. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139.